God bless you, Tolerance. Kimberly. Florence. Crystal. God bless you guys as you come on. Hallelujah. We welcome you tonight, Holy Spirit. We welcome you tonight, Father. We give you glory, we give you praise, and we give you honor. We're live on Facebook, we're live on YouTube. We're about to start. Come on, go ahead and share. Go ahead and share. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Marilyn has joined the chat. Awesome. Facebook, as you come on, please make sure you go ahead and share. Share in your groups. Share in all the groups. Share with all your friends, your family, everyone that needs to get this. Make sure you go ahead and share. Father, we welcome you tonight, Holy Spirit. We welcome you tonight, Adonai. Let your presence be here. Let your glory be here. Let the Spirit of God begin to dwell with us even now. We cover the airwaves. We cover this streaming. We cover everything that will be said and done tonight. Let your, let your power come. Let God come. Let God be exalted. We pray that tonight that this information will go out with clarity, with precision, and that as this word goes out, that you will also demonstrate, bring healing, bring deliverance to your children that needs in this season, in Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Amen. All right. God bless you guys. Uh, for those of you who are on Facebook, if you prefer to join on YouTube, you can go ahead and do so. I'm on live. I'm on um, live stream Facebook, but you guys know I'm not gonna stay on Facebook for long. Um, so as you come on, make sure you just go ahead and come over on um, on YouTube. But tonight I'm going to be sharing with you on the topic not to nocturnal warfare, nocturnal warfare. Actually, um, someone had sent me a message this morning on this. It's something that I've been thinking about, but not in this exact term. So someone had uh, brought my attention to the terminology or to the term nocturnal warfare. And I thought for a second, I thought about it for a second. Then I was like, okay, um, I didn't never really pay much attention to the depth of it. But the more I scrolled on social media, I kept seeing it pop up here. I kept seeing it pop up everywhere. And I'm going to share with you tonight really what this actually is. If you have questions, drop your questions. We're going to be praying. We're going to be doing declarations so you guys can receive from the Holy Spirit tonight as we share. No, in Isaiah 34 and 14, Isaiah 34 and 14, it says, Des Desert creatures will meet with hyenas. Desert creatures will meet with hyenas, and wild goats will bleed with each other. There are there the night creatures. It says the night creatures will also lie down and find for themselves places at rest. So understand that the scripture speaks uh, clearly and and specifically about night creatures so there are demonic spirits that attack you at different periods of the day there are 24 hours within a day and there are demonic spirits that attack you at different points throughout the day I want you to also understand that there are specific demonic spirits that will target trying to find a place of rest at night and so uh, it is the Bible refers to these spirits as night creatures so that then when we begin hold on just a second all right so when we talk about uh, nocturnal warfare, first, for, let's first analyze. We understand what a warfare is. It is the onslaught attack against the children of God, against the body of Christ, against the believer. It is, it is attacks from the enemy. We understand what warfare is. So now let's look at what the word noctur nocturnal actually means. It is something based on the literal definition from um, from. 
from the Oxford Dictionary, it actually means done. Nocturnal is something that is done, occurring, or active at night. So anything that is done, anything that is active, anything that is occurring in the nighttime is referred to something or someone that is nocturnal. So basically to put nocturnal and warfare together, nocturnal warfare, this is something that happens at night. It is a spiritual warfare against the saints of God where there is an attack against your life. There's an attack against you spiritually whilst you are asleep. It can happen whilst you are awake and it can prevent your sleep. So nocturnal warfare is something that happens at night. And by the way, for those of you that did not get the ebook or my notes on this, if you go to my website, you can download all the notes that I'm going to be sharing with you guys tonight. So go to my website, get the um the ebook on nocturnal warfare. So basically it is it's a spiritual warfare. So what is so it's a spiritual warfare that happens at night. It is more than just a spiritual warfare that happens at night in the dark. It is something that either keeps you from sleeping that causes restlessness or it attacks you in your sleep or in your dream. Now also what is a dream warfare or a warfare dream? A warfare dream is when a believer or a Christian begin to experience terror that terrorizes their sleep or their dream that is called a warfare dream when devils or spirits begin to attack you at night in your dream or in your sleep that's a warfare dream now understand this that the reality of nocturnal warfare is to is to hijack the peace of the believer it is to hijack the peace the destiny the purpose the rest of the believer and so for persons that experience spiritual warfare through dreams or night, they will explain and they will share with you that this is something that happens in the night and this is something that makes you extremely tired, that makes you extremely weary, that makes you extremely fatigued. The plan of the enemy is to wear the saints out. Whenever you begin to experience not being able to sleep or when you do sleep, you're experiencing a lot of attacks, a lot of spiritual warfare this is the plan of the enemy to wear the believers out now let us analyze why is it that people go through this warfare and i say this anyone that is experiencing this or what i will share it does not mean it doesn't it does not mean that you are less than anyone. It doesn't mean that you're farther from God than anyone. But it means that you are literally marked by the Spirit of God. Every I believe that most, most Christians, if not all, will go through this level of warfare. Most, if not all, Christians will go through this level of spiritual warfare at one point or another in their life. So it is something that everyone experience, experiences, right? So please for those of you that are going through the attacks over and over do not just think that oh you are being singled out that you are the only one that you're never going to come out of this no don't think that way it is something that affects every believer at some point in time and i want you guys to share come on youtube begin to like like let's get this like up to 20 likes let's get this up to 20 likes let's like let's like let's like it's free there's no charge i saw i literally saw this course this morning um, I saw Jennifer McClare actually teaching this course. So for those of you that want to go ahead and retake this course from her, I, I believe you absolutely can. She's a, she's, um, she's a phenomenal teacher of, um, you know, prophetic and the things of the, of, of the things of the spirit of God. Phenomenal teacher. But I just literally went ahead and looked at her stuff and I decided, let me do this teaching tonight for free. Because then everybody got money to pay for everything. So um, that's where I pulled this course from. And to be honest, nocturnal warfare, I believe is just, um, it's a revealed fancy name for warfares that we face at nighttime, if I may be um, brutally honest. 
It's not something that was pulled from the scripture, but it is something that you put together that makes sense. Nocturnal is night and warfare is warfare, spiritual warfare. So why do you go through this level of warfare? Why does this happen? Why does the enemy attack you at night? I'll share with you several reasons why the enemy attacks you at night. The first thing I want you to understand is that Satan plays, he plays, his plays are set in motion when your defense is down. When your defense is down, that's where he's going to try to attack you the most. So understand that when it comes to night time, after you have done all of your daily chores, you're no tired, you're no drained, the only thing you want to do is to go to bed and sleep. It means that you're now at a state where perhaps your spiritual defense is a bit down because you're completely bombarded and tired. The only thing you want to do is go to sleep. And so it is easy for the devil to begin to attack you at this point. So he attacks you when your defense is somewhat down. This is why the Bible tells us in Ephesians 6 to put on the whole armor of God. Put on the whole armor that you will be able to stand against the wiles of the enemy. Understand this, that the devil is like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour he does not stop even when you are praying even when you are mature even when you are a prophet even when you're preaching and you have grown to a spiritual level the devil is still going to attack you. The only thing is it will subside based on the dimension you come to or your maturity. These are things that eventually begins to subside, but it does not stop. It doesn't stop. He will continue to attack as much as he possibly can. But you can, you can stand and you can overcome this by the power of the Holy Spirit. So understand that, as I mentioned before, that his plays are set in motion when your defenses are down. Understand that um, this is something that will continue to happen and it will not stop. So why is it that the, why is it that the devil attacks you at night? The first thing is, at night time is when, at night times, even in your dream, is a way that God communicates with us. It's a way that God communicates with us. For a lot of people, a lot of people struggle to hear the voice of God. A lot of people struggle to hear the Holy Spirit communicating with them. And so then what happens is the Spirit of the Lord waits until you go to sleep. And that's when it is easier for him to communicate certain levels of revelation with you. It is easier for the Spirit of the Lord to communicate information with us when we are asleep. If spiritually we're not mature enough to hear hear the voice of the Holy Spirit communicating with us. So understand that dream is a primary way, a primary channel through which God communicates with us. He says in Acts 2, 17, I will pour my spirit upon all flesh. And he goes on to say, your young men will see visions and all men will have dreams. So understand Another scripture says in Numbers uh, 12, 6, it says, when there is a prophet among you, I, the Lord, will reveal myself to them in visions and I will speak to them in dreams. Now understand, if the Holy Spirit chooses or if, the, if, if a primary channel for the Holy Spirit to speak through you is through dreams, then know this for a fact that the devil is going to try his utmost best to shut down your dream realms. If this is a channel that God God communicates with you the devil is going to try to shut down your dream channels so you do not receive of the Holy Spirit so the questions that some of you are asking God and the answers that some of you are seeking understand that the direction that God wants to give you for the season that you're in or the season you're coming into many of these instructions and strategies are going to come by means of dreams and visions now what the devil does not want to happen he does not want you to receive these dreams this is why he will harass and torment you so you will either not sleep at all or if you dream he will give you nightmares or try to attack or pollute your dream or he will try to steal your dream so you will not remember what it is that you saw this is why many of you will have dreams but you'll wake up and you will not remember what you saw within your dream 
So because Jesus communicates with you through, through dream, it is simple. How many times have many of you, uh, you were supposed to get a particular phone call because, you know, someone wanted to hire you or there was good news or something you needed to hear. And in that moment of time, the signal dropped. Your internet went out, the signal dropped, and everything just started to go bad because the devil did not want you to get that phone call. The devil did not want you to get the message that was supposed to come to you because the devil knows anyhow you get that message you're going to be free you're going to be delivered doors are about to be open so what he does is he tries to destroy your cell phone he tries to destroy your reception so when the devil begins to attack you nocturnally what he's trying to do or what he's simply saying is god has a message for you god has strategy god has instruction he wants to give you insight foresight or hindsight about that which is to come that that which is happening or that which is a that which has happened already the enemy does not want you to receive it understand that dreams dreams mirror the things that are happening in your life dreams reveal the things that are happening in your life that is happening that has things that have happened before now things that are happening and things that are about to happen so dream is able to mirror everything that is happening around you not just physically but also spiritually when you are unaware of things that are happening around you what the dream does is what god does is he pulls your spirit man into another dimension to begin to reveal things that could not be seen with your natural eyes and so then let, let all truth be spoken the demonic attacks and the things the crazy things that some of you see by dreams if some of you were to see those things in real daylight you would run for your lives if some of you were to see the things you see in your dream at night you would run because these things would literally be crazy if you were to see demons chasing you demons chaining you demons trying to destroy you if you saw some of these things by day just by looking out of your eyes you would be scared that you trust me these things will scare the crap out of you and so there's some things that god will you know reveal to you by dreams there's some things that you are asking god to show you to reveal to you but the Spirit of the Lord understands that there are certain dimensions of things that he cannot reveal to you even while you are awake. And so he has to wait until you come into that unconscious state of sleep and dream to reveal these things to you. There are people who are praying for the angelic. There are people who are praying to go into deliverance ministry. There are people who are praying for certain divine things to begin to manifest. But the Lord will know that there are some things that you are not ready to experience as yet. But yet he still needs to communicate these things to you and so what he does is he allows you to see these things by dream so understand the first reason why you go through nocturnal warfare is god has a message for you that the devil does not want you to receive come on somebody declare i will receive messages about my destiny through dreams I, even now i declare and i decree that as you go to sleep tonight i declare that a message that god has for you that would change your destiny it will come by dream come on facebook begin to share so you guys on facebook don't like you don't share that's why i stick with my youtube family <laughs> Come on, I declare tonight seriously in the name of Jesus that God has a message for you that he's about to reveal by dream that would change your life, that would change your destiny. God is about to give you instruction that would change your destiny. God is about to reveal the enemy that will change your destiny. There are things that God is about to reveal to you by dreams and visions of the night that will set you up for increase, that will set you up for overflow, that will set you up for a divine blessing by the spirit of the lord god of hosts and so the enemy wants to shut down your dream realms by dreams god reveals the intentions of your enemies pay attention to the fact that in a lot of your dreams you will see the plans of the enemy 
You'll have a lot of dreams seeing someone chasing you, someone trying to shoot you, someone trying to bury you, someone trying to have sex with you. You'll have a lot of these dreams from time to time. It is not just because the devil wants to do something, but God is allowing you to see these things, not because they have happened or not because they are about to happen, but God is revealing these things so then you know what to do with it. Unfortunately, there are some people that have these dreams and they become frustrated. They become weary. They become confused. Why am I having sex in my dream? It's not just so a seed or omen can be deposited into your destiny to destroy your purpose, but God is permitting you to see it. Never be, never be frustrated by the fact that you feel as though you're having warfare by dream or bad or demonic dreams. Be frustrated when you're not dreaming any at all. The only reason you should be frustrated concerning dreams is when you're not dreaming any at all. But the fact that you have what is considered as a bad dream or a nightmare, it is the spirit of the Lord that is revealing to you something that is being done. And when he shows this to you, he wants you to pray. The fact that he shows these things to you, it means that you have what you need. It means that you are already equipped in the spirit to deal with what you have seen. If this thing breaks you, you because you have you have shown it because you have ignored it or because you feel as though you're not equipped to deal with it but the fact that you see it you are equipped to deal with it you are equipped to destroy by the power of the holy spirit so number two he reveals the intentions and the, the tactics of the enemy so in genesis 42 and 9 genesis 42 9 then he remembered his dreams about them and said to them, You are spies. You have come to see where our land is unprotected. Then he remembered his dream, which means that at first he forgot what his dream was. Capture this by the Spirit of God. There's some of you that will have dreams and you may not remember what your dream is. And, and a few hours or a few minutes or a few days later, the Holy Spirit brings you back. And suddenly you begin to remember what you dreamt about. There's some of you at a later point in time, you will remember what your dream was. You will remember what you saw, what you heard, what your spirit man has captured. For some of you, you will go back to sleep and you will dream that dream again. Some of you will go back into the dream and you will continue to dream of the thing that you had saw previously because there is something that God wants you to pay attention to in that dream. So what the enemy does is he tries to block your memory so you will not remember what God wants to reveal to you. So note that in this scripture, he says, then he remembered his dreams above them and said to them, you are spies. You have come to see where our land is unprotected. There's some of you that have dreams. Some of you have come into connection with people. And upon coming into connection with certain people, suddenly you begin to have dreams about these people. And this is not in the event where the devil creates a masquerade or allows someone to come as someone else. But when some of you begin to have dreams about certain people wanting to kill, wanting to steal, certain people who are jealous, certain people who are not for God, do not ignore those dreams. Come on, somebody put it in the comment section. Do not ignore your dreams. I will not ignore my dreams. There are three sources that you can have a dream from. You can have a dream through your soulish realm. If it is in your subconscious state, your soulish realm, there's a possibility you will go to sleep and you will dream about it. You can have divine dreams that come from the spirit of God and you can have demonic influence dreams. You will have demonic influence dreams. But you have to understand that when you have built your spirit man to a certain place where you can entrust the spirit of God to reveal certain things to you, there are things that he will show you that you need not to ignore. Pay attention to your dreams. It is a vital channel through which the Holy Spirit communicates with you. So this scripture, the man of God is saying, you are spies. How did he know that they were spies? And they were coming to see if the land was unprotected. He saw it 
by a dream. These people were coming in to see if these people had a, had a, a gate that was built up for their family, a protection system that was built up for the family, for the church, for the business, so they could go back and plot how they would destroy. In other words, this was a monitoring spirit that came to test what was happening. So the, listen, this is how powerful a dream is. The people came. So this man was confronted by someone. This, he was not in a dream. He was no longer in a dream. But the person that came to him was possibly asking him questions, interrogating us, trying to see how he was doing, what was happening. But the moment the man of God saw the person interrogating him, immediately he remembers his dreams. And he said, wait a second, I had a dream that this would have happened. You're actually a spy. You don't really care about me. You have no good intention towards me. You are a spy and you're only coming to check and monitor if our land is unprotected. The blood of Jesus is against you so he attacks your dreams at night or he attacks you mentally to torment you so you will not dream because there's something that God wants to reveal to you there's always an attack in the place that God wants to bless you and use you the most If I'm building a church, that's for the devil. If God wants me to build a church, if God wants me to buy a car, then the devil is going to affect, attack my finances. If you're about to get married, the devil is going to attack. You can, you can, you can discern when God wants to bless you by the increased levels of warfare that will come. You can discern where God wants to bless you, what realm, the realm in which the spirit of the Lord wants to bless you or do something for you, because that's where the devil will begin to attack you. The most if your finances are under attack god wants to bless your finances someone say i receive it if god wants to bless your marriage you'll find that you and your spouse will begin to argue and you can never agree on anything because god wants to do something with your marriage If God wants to use you as a vessel and as a voice prophetically in the nation, expect that the devil is going to attack you by all means. He's going to try to attack your life. He's going to try to destroy your character. He's going to try to destroy your name because he sees that there's a call of God that's on your life. If God wants to speak to you by dreams or visions, the devil is going to try to attack your dreams. Another reason why... The devil attacks you not, nocturnally because at night is a time of spiritual transactions. Nighttime is a time when it comes to the night, that's where spiritual transactions begin to take place. That's where a lot of transactions begin to take place. So many of you will experience God giving you wisdom and strategies and insight and foresight, mysteries and secrets that will come to you by dream. So what some of you don't understand is you go to sleep and you have certain business or million dollar ideas. It's wisdom. It is wisdom that is being transacted and passed on to you. When some of you begin to have dreams that someone is anointing you, you have dreams that you're laying hand on someone, you're preaching to someone, God is releasing something to you by the Spirit. He's giving you a vision. He, a transaction is taking place in the Spirit. So the Spirit of God, the heavenlies of God, will pour and download things into your spirit that you need. As well as there are demonic transactions that also takes place. The Bible says, Matthew 13, 25, it says, While men slept, the enemy came and saw tears among the wheat and went his way. That's an evil transaction that is done while you are asleep. While you're asleep, the enemy came, the evil one came and he saw tears while you were asleep that's an evil transaction that is taking place so the reason why the enemy attacks you by dream the reason why the enemy attacks you at night because he doesn't want you to receive of the holy spirit 
He doesn't want you to receive, whether it is impartation, whether it is wisdom, whether it is direction, whether it is God will send angels to give you gems or diamonds. It, he doesn't want you to receive of the Holy Spirit. So that means he's going to attack you. He will attack your dream or he will attack you so you will not sleep to receive of the Holy Spirit. Come on, we declare in the name of Jesus that every evil transaction that the enemy wants to pass on to you, we declare that it will die by fire. Even now, as we're about to come into this midnight watch, this 1 to 3 to 4 a.m. watch, every demonic and evil transaction that the enemy wants to conspire, that the enemy wants to send and release to you, we declare that it is canceled in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, somebody say, it is canceled, it is canceled. Tonight you will not eat in your dream. Tonight you will not have sexual encounters in your dream. Tonight you will not drink from the cup of the enemy. You will not drink from the cup of the evil one. Tonight, you will not sign demonic contracts. You will not sign away your purpose, your life, or your destiny. Tonight, we declare in the name of Jesus, every evil plan that the enemy is conspiring against you to destroy your destiny by dream, we declare that it is already canceled in the mighty name of Jesus. We cancel it in Jesus' mighty name. So the enemy attacks you by night because he doesn't want you to receive of the Holy Spirit. He doesn't want you to receive revelation, impartation, wisdom, strategy. He doesn't want you to receive anything at all from the Holy Spirit. He attacks you because when he attacks you by night, whether by dream, whether by canceling your sleep and your toll, it leaves you feeling frustrated. When you become frustrated, tired, and weary, physically, spiritually, or emotionally, it has an impact on your soul. So when you wake up frustrated and tired internally, it sends a signal and a distress message to your soulish realm. You're in a bad mood. You don't feel like talking to anyone today. You don't feel like leaving the house today. You don't feel like being bothered by anything. And so what you should have received of the Holy Spirit, get up, do your prayers, journal in your prayer, in your put a uh, journal, your prayer entries, or what God wants to do. Uh, begin to work on your book. Begin to work on your song. Go on Facebook and do a prayer. You become completely bombarded in your soulish realm. That's where your emotions are not being affected. Your will is being affected. So your mind, your will now becomes affected because you woke up frustrated. You woke up, you woke up tired. You woke up feeling unrested and you're just in a bad mood. So it now begins to have an evil, it begins to have a negative impact on your soulish realm. The things that you should have completed the next day, you no longer are able to do it because you're not in the frame of mind. And so some of you walk around and say, oh, I'm not in the frame of mind to do anything. I'm not talking to anyone. I'm in a season all by myself. I'm isolating. I'm shutting down because the devil does not want you to do what you need to do. He wants to wear you out. He wants to wear the saints out. When you become weary, when you become frustrated, when you do not have the willpower to do anything, by will physically, your strength is robbed. He robs you of your strength emotionally, physically, and mentally. Emotion, emotionally, because you, you emotionally, because you feel drained. Why am I going through this over and over? Why am I being bombarded? I, I feel tired. I can't manage this anymore. You're emotionally drained and in distraught. Your will is been, your will is affected. Your, first of all, so it affects your emotions. It affects your mind. Your mind is affected. You're thinking all these things. Why me? Why am I going through this over and over? What did I do to deserve this? I feel all alone. Do I have a demonic spirit? Do I need to go and get deliverance? 
when the truth is all you had to do was wake up and say the devil is a liar i cancel this in the name of jesus and continue along your way sometimes sometimes it doesn't require there are certain things that does not warrant deliverance but it warrants you declaring and decreeing by the power of the holy ghost the devil is a liar and every demonic seed that was sown i cancel it may it catch fire and die by the power of the holy spirit that's all it needed but because you allowed it to persist and to continue and you didn't do anything at all because you felt alone you felt you felt like no one cares and this is not becoming too much and it is becoming too consistent it has not taken over your mind the fact that it takes over your mind it now begins to affect your will so now you no longer have the willpower to pray the willpower to read the word of god the willpower to push and to overcome these things but tonight the devil is a liar tonight the devil is a liar another reason why the devil attacks you by night is there's a spirit spouse that is working if there's a spirit spouse that has legal rights to your life that gives all the reason for the devil to attack you consistently whether by sexual dreams by dating you by stressing you out by wearing you out that spirit attacks you So let's continue if you haven't gotten the free ebook just go just go to my website and download this book it has all the information all the scriptures so we're gonna do deliverance at the end so make sure you don't go we will do deliverance at the end so how so these are a few of the reasons why you go through nocturnal warfare but how does this happen how does the enemy attack you at night how does this happen Job 4 says, Now a word was brought to me stealthily. My ear received the whisper of it. Amid thoughts from visions of the night, when deep sleep falls onto my mind. Which made all my bones shake. All my bones shake. So how does the devil attacks you at night? Number one, he attacks your dreams. And he also does this through what is, uh, what is uh, called sleep paralysis. The medical name or the name that is given to this when you're being held on in your dream is called sleep paralysis. But for us that understand spiritual matters and spiritual things, we understand that this sleep paralysis goes deeper than just you not being able to you not being able to wake up from your dream. This goes beyond you going between a dream and lucid dream and whatever it is to you understanding that something is holding you down. Why they say it is just it is just um, hallucination, but that's not it. When you understand spiritual matters, you. You'll understand that some of you when you're being held down in your dreams some of you will see something on top of you holding you down some of you will experience something putting his hand over your mouth and so what you will find is that the only thing that releases you is when you try to whisper Jesus the only thing that you can say is Jesus the only thing that you can try to whisper or mention is Jesus and nothing for some of you nothing comes out I used to have these back in the days I used to have these a whole lot and I would try to I would try to say the name Jesus but it wouldn't come out and sometimes my husband will wake me up and say what is happening you're mumbling in your sleep and I said did you hear what I was saying he said no I said I was trying to call Jesus Come on YouTube, I need 10 more likes. You're on, you're listening, go ahead and like. Facebook, go ahead and share. 
So the devil comes in and he tries to hold you down in your sleep. And there, there are people that, that, that term this as a sleep paralysis. But this is just a way that the devil attacks you by dream. When you come into this state and you're now seeing a demonic spirit touch you. You're now seeing a demonic spirit touch you or hold you down. The fact that you're able to feel something literally hold you down and you're seeing that thing. You're in a state of transition between your physical state, the dream realm, into another realm in the spirit. You're literally transitioning in and out of spiritual realms. So you're, 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 you're in a subconscious state, but you're in a dream realm where you can one encounter the heavenlies. So dream is a way that God uses you to experience the heavenlies. So some of you have dreams of seeing aliens. Some of you have dreams of seeing some crazy looking ugly stuff in another alternate or parallel universe or something. It's not just aliens or some weird dreams. God is allowing your spirit to see things that exist. I've had many dreams where I'm in the dream and I'm seeing my spirit man walk in the house and I'm seeing my husband come into the room and take up stuff and do certain things and I wake up from a very deep sleep and I say, babe, were you literally just in the room doing this and doing that? And I was able to tell him everything that he did because my spirit was looking at everything that he was doing even though I was in a deep sleep. When you come into this dimension, your spirit man will begin to experience demonic spirits. So your spirit man is now existing in the realms. Of course, you're going to experience seeing demonic things. So he attacks you. He attacks your dreams. He attacks your dreams. He, he causes sleep paralysis. Another way in which the devil attacks you at night is he saw tears. Not only does he attack the dream, but he saw tears in the dreams. So what this is, is a demonic seed or omen that is sown in your dream that affects or that alters your destiny and your purpose. What are these seeds? What are these tears? This is when you begin to have sex in your dream. There's a seed, there's a semen that is being transferred. For women, when you have sexual encounters in your dream, there is spiritual ejaculation. That's a demonic seed that causes you to become sick. So many persons will experience the moment you started having sex in your dream, automatically your menstrual cycle begins to shift. You begin to have stomach pains. You begin to have fibroids. You begin to have cysts. Things begin to just go extremely wrong concerning your health. Your finances are not being um, attacked. Your relationships are being attacked. Everything concerns your destiny is not being attacked the moment you started to have sex in your dream. When you begin to eat in your dream, it causes sickness. The, someone says, what happened when males, what happened for males who are raped in the dream? The same thing happened. The same thing. It affects their destiny, their purpose, their health, their finances, their relationships. It affects the things that God has destined for them. When you begin to eat in the dream, this is a demonic seed that is being invested into your soul that affects your purpose. It's a monitoring spirit that is being embedded, that monitors, that tracks your progress, your destiny, and that seeks to destroy that which God has destined for you to walk in. Another way in which the, the devil uh, torment, another way in which uh, nocturnal warfare happen is through torment, torment. So some of you will go to sleep and in between your sleep and your dream, you're constantly hearing demonic spirits whisper and talk. So you're hearing things telling you, you're going to die, we're going to kill you, we're going to destroy you. So the torment is something that continues. And another way in which torment happens is not just through 
voices and whispers. But the moment you have had one demonic dream or what you call a night fear, it causes terror. So the next night you're not about to go to sleep, you're tormented. You can't stop seeing the bad dream you had yesterday. This is why when you have a bad dream one night, the next night you begin to pray and you become fearful and you make sure you turn on your light, you turn on your bedside lamp or you leave the TV on because you don't want it to be dark any at all because you're fearful that if it gets too dark that same dream that you had will come back so the enemy causes fright and terror he torments you he torments you this is why job says that amid thoughts job says amid thoughts from visions of the night when deep sleep comes the, the ear he hears a whispering and then he says dread came upon me so he hears whisperings he hears the whispers of the enemy he hears what the enemy is saying and dread comes upon him and trembling and he made his bones shake do you know something that happened to me a few years ago for those of you that have seen or you know the movie get out two things I was just through watching, I was just through preaching at a tent crusade for a couple of nights. And immediately after preaching, this was a whole setup by witches and warlocks. I was just through preaching at a tent crusade many years ago. Then my husband and I watched Get Out. There was a scene where this woman had this guy in the basement or something. And he was, he had a spoon and he was, um, he was stirring a tea or something. And when you hear the sound of the, when you hear the sound of the spoon hitting against the glass cup, that thing began to put this guy in a trance. The moment I was through watching that movie, the devil is a liar. I closed my eyes and I was not, I was not dreaming. I closed my eyes and I was not in a dream. The moment I closed my eyes, I heard the sound of that cup in the spiritual realm. My ears heard the sound of the spoon hitting against the cup and I was being pulled underneath the ground. I literally saw demonic spirits pulling me underneath the ground. By watching that one movie, don't watch that movie, guys. Don't, don't watch it. For about four nights, four to five nights straight, I had no sleep. If you guys saw me, I was a walking zombie. If you guys saw me, that opened doors for witches. And I was a walking zombie for about four to five days. Every single night, I had serious witchcraft attacks. Witches would come to destroy me. I would tell my husband, please check me into this psychiatric ward because I am not okay in my mind. I begged my husband to check me into the psychiatric ward because I was not okay here. The voices were tormenting me. I was a walking zombie. So he torments your mind by allowing you to hear voices calling your name, telling you you're going to die, telling you you are no good. He torments your mind. He torments your mind by causing you to constantly see a review of the bad dream that you had the night before. So every time you close your eyes, the only thing that you can see is the dream you had. Is the dream you had. He makes you restless. He attacks you by causing you to become restless. So you're hearing the thoughts, you're hearing the voices. You're remembering the bad dreams you had. Now you're restless. You can't fall asleep any at all. You're laying down, but every time you lay down to sleep, it feels as though your spirit is being sucked by some suction vacuum or something into another dimension. Every time you close your eyes, you're beginning to see something demonic or something evil. You're seeing darkness. You're seeing demonic spirits. You feel as though you're being pulled into another dimension by evil spirits. He causes you to become restless. So it doesn't matter what you do. You're just not falling asleep and you feel tormented. Pastor, I experience all of these. 
How do I know for sure that I'm experiencing nocturnal warfare? How do I know for sure that the devil is attacking my life at night and wants to destroy me? The signs that you're experiencing nocturnal warfare is you feel discouraged. And I think we can start doing prior declarations from here. You feel, so I'm going to share with you signs you're being, signs you're experiencing nocturnal warfare and the types of spirits that attacks you at night. And I'll share with you how to, how to open doors to be attacked by these spirits. So a sign that you're being attacked or tormented by nocturnal spirits is feeling discouraged, defeated, and depressed. Take note of this. That a sign you're being attacked by these evil demonic spirits at night is on a daily basis you feel discouraged. You feel defeated and depressed. So when you begin to experience these warfares, you begin to feel hopeless. You feel hopeless. You feel overwhelmed and you feel burdened just by life. Overall, you have a sense of disappointment. You're struggling to find peace. It's like your peace is being robbed from you. You're feeling stressed and you feel like giving up. Come on, but tonight we declare in the name of Jesus that the spirit of discouragement, the spirit spirit of depression, the spirit of hopelessness, the spirit of overwhelm and burden. It is being broken from your life tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, every demonic spirit that attacks you by night and causes you to wake up feeling overwhelmed and discouraged, feeling burdened in your spirit, feeling as though you want to give up, we declare that that is broken. The spirit of discouragement, of defeat, it is broken from your life tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Shame, bro, you have a loss of spiritual appetite. Let's, let's take it a bit further. You have a lack of spiritual desire. So when these warfares begin or they, or they begin to persist, you're going to begin to experience a loss of spiritual desire, which means you no longer have that desire to pray. You no longer have that desire to study the word of God. You no longer have that desire to communicate or to fellowship with the saints or your brothers or sisters. Because what the enemy is now trying to do is he's trying to get you in a state of isolation where he can basically finish you off. So you no longer have that desire to pray. You no longer have the desire to read the word of God. You no longer have the desire to participate in your church groups. To participate in the activities of the church. You want to isolate yourself from everything or everyone when you begin to experience this. It's a sign you're being attacked by nocturnal. It's a sign you're being attacked at night. You're being attacked by one of a few different spirits. You don't want to pray. And if you decide to pray, it's a struggle to pray. You, you want, there's a part of you that wants to pray, but you just do not have the willpower to pray. And if you do begin to pray, it's, it's like confusion. You can't get your words to come together. So your prayer is jumbled. Your prayer is confusing. Your prayer, your words, is almost like you're disoriented. And you can't focus to put your words together. So it's kind of like you're praying, but you're praying gibberish. Come on, somebody say, deliver me, oh God. Deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, oh God. Somebody just say, deliver me, oh God. Number three, sign that you're being attacked by an evil or demonic spirit is physical fatigue or sickness. Spiritual fatigue, physical fatigue rather, or sickness. So when you begin to experience you're being drained of your energy, you're lacking energy. You have no motivation to do anything at all. There's a spiritual warfare that is going on. You're being attacked by the devil. You get up from your sleep. Understand that when you go to sleep at night, you're supposed to wake up feeling refreshed. 
rejuvenated, refreshed, energized. But you wake up and you feel tired. You wake up, you feel tired, you feel drained. You lack energy to do anything at all. The devil is trying to pull your energy. He's trying to suck the very life and energy out of you. So you will become, uh, you will not be able to function. You will not be able to accomplish anything. So all you want to do is wake up and sleep in bed. All you want to do is wake up and just lay around, you know, just lounge around the place and get nothing done. Because you feel frustrated, you feel tired, and you feel weary. You have no energy to do anything. You begin to doubt the goodness of God. You begin to doubt that God is able to do anything at all for you. So then you struggle, to, you struggle to begin to trust God. You struggle to trust the word of God. To trust the spirit or the promise of God. That he is able to do for you what he promised he would do. So you begin to question what God has promised to do. I will give you a house. I will give you a car. I will use your family. I will use you for ministry. You begin to question the plans, the promises and the intentions of God. Because you're seeing the warfare. But you're not seeing the promise of God come to pass because now you're spiritually weary physically you're weary mentally you're weary emotionally you're weary you begin to question God if he's really able to do what he said he was going to do Zeto so you begin to doubt God's goodness and capability to work for you number five sign you're being attacked is you have negative and disturbing thoughts the enemy begins to perplex and oppress your mind so the only thing that you can think is negative thoughts your mind becomes a battlefield where the devil begins to attack your thoughts you can only think negative thoughts I'm not going to make it I'm going to lose myself I will never come out of this situation no one cares about me no one remembers me he's attacking your mind so now you need to pull down every demonic stronghold you need now to cast down vain imaginations and stand on the word of God stand on the word of God cast down vain imaginations the things the devil is speaking to your ear and telling you it is a lie from the pit of hell when you're going through nocturnal warfare it causes you to begin to have negative thoughts negative and demonic thoughts you feel you begin to have thoughts that oh god is too far away from me he can't hear me you begin to have thoughts of god is so far he can't hear you or he's not hearing you or he's not listening to you that is not so at all he is right there he said i will never leave you nor forsake you another sign you're being attacked by demonic and evil spirits old emotional wounds begin to resurface so old emotional wounds begin to resurface so suddenly the pain and the trauma of the past the things that the pastor did years ago the things that your family did the things that you have already overcome that you were healed and delivered from begins to resurface and so now you're preying everybody you're 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 making everybody into a suspect you're now meditating on the fact that oh this person could be working against me the warfare could be coming from this person you're now trying to play a victim and you're resurfacing every negative and bad traumatic experience that you have gone through in the past so you're remembering when you used to be hurt all of a sudden you're remembering when your father left you when your mother left you and it is not adding to the sorrow and the distress that you are already facing so it is distress upon this distress you're not listening see when you're going through a breakup when you're going through a relationship breakup and you begin to cry because that man hurt you and left you, don't you? Didn't work out. When you begin to cry, you begin to remember every other sad thing that you went through. When you begin, when you begin to listen to certain sad or certain love or sad songs, it begins to cause certain traumatic experiences from your past to be resurfaced. This is also what demonic attacks does. It causes all the trauma and all pain to begin to resurface. Even when you have already been delivered, even when you have already been healed, it causes you to begin to think back on the things that God has 
already brought you through. You have to begin to declare the devil is a liar from the pit of hell. My old pain will not resurface. My old trauma will not resurface. I will not relieve the trauma or the pain of my past. I am delivered. I am healed. And I'm set free by the blood and the power of Jesus. You begin to struggle with feeling guilt. With feeling guilt. Condemnation or shame. So what this means is you begin to feel as though you're not good enough. You're not good enough. Nothing you do is good enough. Your feelings are no longer valid. You begin to feel shameful of these experiences. And you begin to have self-pity. You begin to experience self-pity. I'm not good enough. No one understands me. Oh, he, here's a common one. Here's a common one that the devil uses to destroy you. Oh, I don't want to be a bother to anyone. Oh, people are people got people, people must be tired of me complaining about warfare over and over and over. It's a tactic of hell. If you're going through a warfare and you need help, seek help. The devil will tell you, don't post about your issues. Don't ask for help. Don't ask for prayer. Don't share what you're going through. And so he'll begin to tell you, oh, people, people, or people must be tired of me. Every day is another war fear. So I don't want to bother no one with my problem. So I'm just isolating. It's a lie of hell. It's a tactic from hell. You don't want to bother anyone with your troubles. You don't want to bother anyone with your warfare over and over and over. Is a tactic from hell. So you begin to feel rejection, abandonment, loneliness. These feelings begin to heighten. You begin to experience confusion because now you don't know what to do. You don't know where to turn. You're now contemplating your salvation. Am I really saved? Is God hearing me? What do I do? How do I move forward? These are symptoms of spiritual warfare. Whether warfare by night or any other form of warfare. What spirits causes these warfares? What devil causes nocturnal warfare? Dream warfare or warfare in general? See, nocturnal warfare is just like any other warfare except it happens at night. It happens in your dream or it happens when you should be sleeping or it blocks your sleep. It's just a regular warfare. Nocturnal warfare is just a fancy term to say, oh, it happens at night. It's just warfare. Some experience it throughout the days a lot and some experience it throughout the nights a lot. So understand that when we speak about the aspect of nocturnal warfare, that the devil, the devil, he loves darkness. He loves darkness. He loves nighttime, which is why there are certain levels of warfare that are heightened in the night, or should I say in the morning when it's dark. So between the hours of 12 midnight and 3, 4 a.m., there are certain levels of warfare that begins to heighten and increase. This is where hell and its hosts and minions begin to come up and create havoc in the earth realm or in the spiritual realm. That's why the most of the warfares that you will experience that you face is between 12 or 3. Every time I experience a warfare at night or a demonic attack, when I wake up immediately I see the time by the spirit and when I take up my phone or I look, I literally will see 3 a.m. or 2.59. Somehow every time I have a demonic attack and I wake up from this, I already know the time even before I check my watch. The Spirit of the Lord allows me to see the time even before I check my watch. I know what time it is by the Spirit of God. So, the devil loves night. He loves darkness. So, that the Bible tells us we will not be fearful of the terror that fired by night. We will not be fearful of the terror by night. Job said that my bones shake in terror. Job said I was so afraid. I trembled and my bones shook in terror. 
because of these spirits. Listen, guys, when you have these demonic dreams and these demonic attacks, most of you get up and you can't sleep for the rest of the night. Me, I used to have these dreams and these experiences, and I would stay up and I would scroll on Instagram and Facebook until it gets to 4 a.m. Then I feel like, oh, it's not safe to go and sleep. But when you understand that these spirits have no power over you and that you have all power and authority over them and that he that is within you is greater than he that is in the world, you can go to sleep and you can sleep in perfect peace. Psalm 91 is it. So the spirits that tend to attack you by night are number one. The incubus and the succubus spirits. So the incubus and the succubus spirit is a male and a female demon. It is considered it is it is considered as a female or male demonic spirit that creates sexual exploits to destroy one's purpose or destiny. So you will experience having dreams. a ring on your finger having one dream someone is commenting in the group or not on youtube <laughs> when you have dreams that you're having sex in your dream when you have a dream that you're having sex it doesn't necessarily mean that you have a spirit spouse and it doesn't mean that you have a demonic spirit it, it can mean that you are attacked by the spirit how do I know that I actually have a spirit spouse and I need to be delivered? When this thing becomes continuous and there's nothing, it's almost like there's nothing you can do to break it. So a one dream here and a one dream there at, at different periods of time does not indicate demonic possession or a spirit spouse. It is simply indicating or highlighting a spiritual attack that is happening nocturnally. So all you have to do is go ahead and pray, break and destroy it in Jesus' name. Break the seed. When you have sex in your dream, there's a seed that is sown. If you do not break the seed, it is something that will begin to grow and grow. See, dreams and omen that are sown in your dream, it's like planting a seed in the ground. It doesn't become a full-blown tree overnight. It doesn't mean you become demonically possessed overnight. It is something that happens over time. So for people that do not understand spiritual matters, they have these dreams over and over. Understand that there's some people that prefer to have good dreams of dating and shopping with men because it feels good and it feels better than having demonic attacks little do they know that this is the deception of hell to trick you into spirit spouse and demonic possession to rob your future to pervert your destiny Come on, YouTube, begin to like, like and share, like and share, like and share. So incubus and succubus will attack you by night. When they attack you, it can cause sickness. They can rob or steal your destiny. It destroys your marriage, your relationships. So you find your marriage is not being affected. You can't keep a relationship. There's a demonic veil that is now placed over your face, so no one will see you or marry you any at all. It doesn't matter how good your relationship is going. When it gets to the point or the conversation of marriage, even if you get engaged, you'll never get married until that veil is removed, until that demonic ring is, ring is removed from your finger. Another spirit that attacks you by night, another spirit that causes nocturnal warfare are witches and wizards. Witches love nighttime. Wizards love nighttime. This is why as a believer, you can't love to sleep too much. Because when some of you should be praying, you're sleeping. When some of you should be praying, you're sleeping. Me, I prefer to sleep sometimes through the days. This is why sometimes through the days, some of you will... Me, I'm always tired as far as I'm concerned. I do all these classes and mentorship through the days. And then when it comes to night time... This is what happens. Some of you, 
you have a nudge by the Spirit of God to pray. Some of you wake up at night. You wake up at 12 a.m., 1 a.m. Some of you wake up at different hours or periods throughout the night or morning. And you know that the Spirit of the Lord is telling you to go and pray. But no. You're more tired and sleepy than you have that urge to pray. And so then when you go back to sleep, because the truth is you're tired. Physically you're tired. But spiritually there's a demand for you to come and pray. Because the Spirit of the Lord sees the pending warfare that is coming. So you go back to sleep and boom, something is holding you down in your sleep. You end up having a demonic dream. And a seed is sown. And all of a sudden things begin to go bad. Your children are being hurt. Your children are becoming sick one after the other. Your finances are being stolen. You can't focus on the purpose and the gifting that God has placed on your life. Because you slept when you should be praying. How many times has God woken you up to pray? But you were too sleepy. You, you just keep falling back into a sleep. We have to master the spiritual realm where your spirit man is stronger and more conscious more than your physical flesh man that wants to sleep. Your flesh is not in control. Your flesh is not in control. So then physically you're tired and sleepy, but spiritually your spirit man is praying. Do you guys know how many times I come on, listen, there are nights, I share this, there are nights when I come on and I'm praying with you at 9 to 10, and we finish praying at 15 or 16 minutes past 10, and I'm extremely tired. There are nights when I'm on and I'm praying and it's almost like I'm sleeping but my spirit is still praying and charging fire. And by the time I'm through and I shut down and I go in my bed to sleep, inter internally, my spirit man is praying. Zentelebra, ikara. Internally, I'm, I'm way too tired. I'm tired, falling asleep. But internally, my spirit is praying and it's like I'm struggling to sleep to the point where I'm begging the Holy Spirit, please, can I get some sleep because I can't stop praying internally. So you have to come to a place where your spirit man is more in charge than your flesh is. Who is in control in your life? Your flesh or your spirit man? So witches and warlocks will attack you at night. Witches and warlocks will attack you by night by dreams. What these guys will do, these spirits will do is they will they will mask they will they will masquerade themselves. They will put on the appearance of someone else and come and feed you in your dream. So some of you say, oh, my, my deceased mother, my deceased grandmother came to feed me food. They came, to, they came to feed me. They came to give me something to drink or clothes to wear. But what many of you did not know or understand is this was a witch that came to you in the form of a family member that you can ensure. Understand that spiritual wickednesses and spirits are very strategic spirits. They're very cunning and wise in their approach. And so they will strategically strategically plan and so what they will do is they will take the form of someone you love and trust and they will come and feed you and give you clothes to wear they put on clothes over you cover your face give you food to eat to track you to monitor you to destroy your purpose to affect your health Because if they come to you as a demonic spirit, you will know them. You will receive, you, you will know them and you will pray and you will shut it down. But if they come to you in your mother that you love dearly, you will say, oh, my mom came and gave me food. That's a life from the pit of hell. Any spirit that comes to give you food is a familiar spirit. And they're coming masquerading as someone you can trust to destroy your purpose. It is easy for the devil to attack you by your dreams because you're, 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 you're unconscious. While you sleep, you are unconscious. So it is the easiest point in which the devil can attack your life, can try to spoil what God has for you. 
there's marine spirits that will attack you by night marine spirits are another form of spirits that will attack you by night when we talk about marine spirits there's a there's a variety of marine spirits there's a whole catalog of them you have snakes you have pythons you have leviathans you have serpents you have all the different types of animals or all the different types of aquatic animals. So you will have dreams about you swimming, about you being by the river, cooking by the river. Any, any, any of these dreams that indicates water, that indicates marine spirits, is an attack. It's an attack. Of course, there are other forms of spirits that can attack you by night. The spirit of perversion, divination, familiar spirits, spirit of heaviness. You wake up feeling, he you wake up feeling heavy and frustrated. Infirmity, bondage, fear, poverty, the spirit of death. They all attack you by night. How does a door become open for these devils to attack me by night? After this, I'm going to share some scriptures and we'll do some prayers and declarations. How does these spirits gain access to attack me by night? I don't have these two on my book. If you don't have the ebook, if you're just coming on, you need this ebook, make sure you go to my website and download this ebook free of cost. There's two I don't have on it. One is spiritual carelessness. Spiritual carelessness. When you know that when you go to sleep, it's a battlefield. <laughs> when you go to sleep, it's a, it's, a, it's a possible battlefield that you're going on. Several things will happen. There are many people that go to sleep and they don't wake up the next day. You don't know what's going to happen when you go to sleep. Unless you really believe that if God has given you life and it's not time for you to die, you can't die. But when you go to sleep, the possibilities are endless to the spiritual warfare that goes on around you. So then when you go to sleep in, with carelessness, you haven't prayed or covered yourself or your atmosphere, what do you think will happen? Some of you are too tired to go to sleep and so you go to sleep and you pray in your heart. You don't audibly speak out, I cover this house under the blood of Jesus. May angels saturate and begin to uh, cover this entire uh, territory of this property. You're too tired so you just go and fall asleep. Carelessness. Spiritual carelessness. Do not go to sleep and leave your spirit uncovered. Leave your house uncovered. It is called spiritual carelessness. You're careless. When you understand the severity of spiritual attacks by night and you have seen these attacks over and over me, there's no way I can go to sleep and not pray or not declare. There are days where I'm too tired to go into prayer because I'm not perfect. There are days where I am literally too tired to go into prayer. But guess what? By the time I'm laying in sleep, I'm declaring. I cover my room in the blood of Jesus. I cover from the crown of my head to my feet. I cover the head to the toe of my bed. I seal the entire walls. My windows, my doors are covered by the blood of Jesus. May angels begin to patrol this house and I declare and I go to sleep but I'm not leaving my head uncovered I'm not leaving my house uncovered and then there are times where you not come to a dimension of maturity where there's so much grace on your life and you carry the presence of the Holy Spirit where you can no I'm not going to tell you that I don't want to miss anyone this is for the mature audience I won't tell you guys that but I say this, the more mature you become spiritually, the more these things lessen. I was about to share with you something, but I don't want you guys to go and do what I do and say, oh, prophetess told me not to pray or do anything at all. I can't share that with you guys. I'll probably get in trouble for that one. But the more you grow spiritually... The more you build yourself spiritually in prayer, fasting, entertaining the presence of God, entertaining and attracting angelic beings, 
these things begin to lessen. Why? Because when the devil comes and he sees the blood of Jesus, he has to pass over. What did you, what was the what was the instruction of the Holy Spirit? Apply this blood to your dwellings, and when I come, when I see the blood, I will pass over. I will not destroy. That same blood avails for your house. That same blood avails for your house. All you have to do is just cover your house with the blood of Jesus. When you carry that presence, that aroma, that grace of God, devils will pass your house looking for a house to attack and they will see the aroma, they will see the blood and they will pass. Me, I know where I am in the spirit. I know where I am in the spirit. I'm like a phone. My my uh, Facebook is about to die. Guys, make sure you come over to YouTube. I'm about to pray and do deliverance. In the realm of the spirit, I see people like a, a, a phone battery. I know where you are spiritually because when I see you, I can tell what gauge you're on, what level you're on. If you are on red, you are on green, you're all the way full. I can tell by spirit where you are. The same applies for me. I know where I am in the spirit and so there are nights where I'll go to sleep for, for days upon days and weeks and months and I do not have any of these attacks because I know where I am spiritually. So then if I'm not praying any at all and I feel like I'm running low, I know I need to make sure I go and pray. Because I know the level that I'm on spiritually. I know there's no way the devil can come in and attack my house tonight. There's no way that this can happen. Someone says, what is my color? <laughs> what is my color? You're coming. You're coming. You're getting hot. Stay plugged in. Stay connected. You're getting there. So causes for nocturnal warfare, attacks from the enemy, sin, sinfulness, sin, sin, sinfulness causes nocturnal warfare. If you're living a life of sinfulness, especially willful sin, un unrepented sin, in Jamaica, she understands. When I say you're coming, she understands what I mean. All the Jamaicans will understand that. You're coming, you're coming, you're coming. Unrepented sin. Willful sin is something that attracts demonic spirits. Note, 1 John 3 and verse 8, it says, Anyone who makes a practice of sinning is of the devil. Anyone who makes a practice of sinning is of the devil. It means the devil has already has your space. He, can, he has free access to attack you. Free access to attack you. So you go to sleep. What do you expect? You're going to be attacked by the devil. If there are, if there are unbroken soul ties, unbroken soul ties... If they are unbroken soul ties, it is a it is a free access. You're telling the devil, come and attack me. So if you're having sexual encounters, if you have a soul tie with someone that was not broken, you're simply telling the enemy, here, my doors are open. Come, 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 come to my house. Come and attack my dreams. Come and attack me by night because there's an open door. So wherever there are soul ties... And soul ties are both sexual and spiritual soul ties. There's some of you that are connected to the wrong people spiritually. There are people that I know that go to these demonic churches. You know your pastor is a witch and a wizard because the Lord told you by dream. You saw this thing, you know, you saw the signs, but you won't leave. See, so the Bible said that Jonathan loved David so much. That it's almost like his soul became as one with him. They became one by soul because he loved him so much. They were so, they were so close. So then this means that if this person has a demonic or evil spirit, it is possible for this thing to be transferred to you. So soul ties, demonic soul ties, sexual soul ties must be broken. Entertainment. Entertainment is a solid means for demonic spirits to attack you. This is the movies you watch, the music you listen to. Let no man tell you that a movie is just a movie. No. 
See, Hollywood and these guys are too smart and they're too slick. They know. They know what they're doing. Demonic spirits can certainly attack your atmosphere or you through these movies. Be careful of the horror movies. Be careful of these horror movies that you watch. The Bible says that the eyes are windows to your soul. Your eyes are windows. Proverbs 30. Your eyes are windows to your soul. That's it. Um, um, Brittany says entertainment. Enter. The key word is enter. So you have to be careful what you watch, what you listen to. Do not open doors for the enemy to come in. If there are any strongholds, if there are any strongholds that needs to be torn down, if it's not torn down, it, it can cause demonic attacks by night, which means you have to tear down the vain imagination. A stronghold is an incorrect pa um, thought pattern. A stronghold is an incorrect pa um, thought pattern that you have. If you're negative in your thinking, your, your, your imagination is negative, your thoughts are negative, your, your thought pattern is negative, it creates a strong man which creates a legal right or access for the devil to attack you by night. Occultic practice, the palm reading that you do, the horoscope that you read to get your daily, um, your daily hookup, what's going to happen today. The new age practices, burning sage, these are these things that causes demonic attacks at night. Even the very conversations you entertain that is not of God. Be careful for I'm jesting. Be careful for those vain conversations that you have. These things can open demonic doors and attacks even at night while you sleep. Unforgiveness opens doors for attacks at night. Childhood rejection. Points of weakness. Tattoos. Certain types of tattoos. It creates open doors for the devil to attack you by night. How do you overcome this? Use the name of Jesus. Use the name of Jesus. Demons tremble and flee when they hear the name of Jesus. So even your spirit man knows you need to call the name of Jesus. This is why when the devil is holding you down in your dream, the first thing you try to do is call the name Jesus. I don't know what is wrong with Facebook. This is why I tell you guys, make sure you come over. This is why when a demonic spirit is holding you down in your sleep, you hear yourself or you catch yourself calling the name of Jesus. Even the name of Jesus has an aroma that when the aroma is spread in your house, that demons will flee. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Use the name of Jesus. The Bible says the 72 return with joy saying, Lord, even demons are subjected to us in your name. Use the word of God to bring light. Demonic spirits does not like light. They love darkness. They love darkness. Physical darkness and darkness that is caused by sin and evil. Anything that is evil or sinful is dark. It's darkness. So use the word of God to release light. To bring forth truth. Play worship music. Play worship music and try to, if you're playing worship music, please. Not all worship music is worship music. A lot of them were written in very bad periods. A lot of them are written with demonic instrumentals. Make sure you know who you're listening to that even sing gospel music. So play worship instrumentals when you go to sleep at night. Play. Let the word of God play in your atmosphere. Let prayers play in your atmosphere. Use the word of God even while you sleep. Know that you are not alone. You are not alone. You are never alone. He says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. I will be with you always. He says, do not be afraid or discouraged. For the Lord your God is with you wherever it is that you go. 
Come on, we're going to pray. We're going to declare. If you're having nocturnal warfare, wage war, it is something that will not persist forever. It comes and it will go. It will not continue forever. Begin to wage war. If you need to stay up for a couple of nights and pray, stay up and pray. If you need to get intercessors to join you in prayer, get intercessors to join you. But do not isolate yourself to a place where you feel like you're all alone and no one is with you. No one understands. You don't want to be a bother to anyone at all no learn to fight that spiritual battle you are going to overcome by the power of the holy ghost let's pray for a minute let's pray for a minute we're gonna do some decorations and pray we welcome you Holy Spirit we welcome you Holy Spirit we pray that your presence will intensify that your presence will fill the airwaves your presence will consecrate and fill the airwaves Lente libro hoshendes kavi, repa pande kasur, libro hoshende de Bahaya, mante libro hoshendes kavia, recosonde de Bahaya. Come on, we pray in the name of Jesus that, that God is about to reveal. We pray in the name of Jesus that your dream realm is now being covered by the blood of Jesus. Your dream realms are being covered by the precious blood and power of the Holy Spirit. I declare that even tonight that the Spirit of God is about to give you dreams and visions. That the Spirit of God is about to give you strategy. Is about to give you insight foresight and hindsight about those things that are happening around you. We declare that your dream realm is now being made clear. We declare your dream realm is being purified and cleared that you can receive of the Holy Spirit. I declare tonight that God will give you prophetic dreams and visions. We cover your dream realms. Rebe Koshanda, Ikele Brando Sivaya, Liketa, Lampa Rosi, Gente Libro Hoshende de Bahaya. I declare tonight in the name of Jesus that God is covering, covering your dream portals. So you will be able to receive that flow. You'll be able to receive a flow of revelation from the Holy Spirit. May the devil not be able to block your dreams, to tamper with your dreams, to distort your dreams, to rob your dreams, to confuse your dreams as the Lord reveals to you divine information for your destiny we pray tonight in the name of Jesus that every demonic attack by dreams will cease even now every demonic attack by dreams will cease whatever access whatever portal of entry whatever point of entry that the devil has to attack your dreams we cancel and we shut it down we cancel and we shut it down so whatever door has been opened I declare even now in the name of Jesus that every demonic door is being shut down every demonic door that has been opened we close it we cancel it we shut it down come on pray 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 in the holy ghost as i declare just pray in the holy ghost at the end of this thing, we'll do deliverance. We'll do deliverance. We'll do deliverance. Every demonic portal, every demonic access or entry point for the devil to torment and to attack your dreams. I cover your dreams in the name of Jesus. I cover your dreams in the mighty name of Jesus. We cover your dream portals. I declare clear tonight the devil will not be able to attack your dreams to hold you down in your dreams we cancel sleep paralysis we cancel you being held down by demonic spirit we cancel the devil shutting your mouth holding your throat standing on top of you having sexual encounters by dream we cancel it tonight in the mighty name of jesus we cover your dreams. We cancel it.